So, Coco is the latest Pixar animation film of the year, and the plot of Coco, we find a young, inspiring musician by the name of Miguel, who mentor is the late, great Ernesto De La Cruz, and Ernesto De La Cruz's guitar is at a cemetery where his shrine is at. After his grandma smashes his guitar, Miguel goes and steals the guitar so he can play in this competition that is happening at his part of town due to his family's ban on music because, you know, a musician left their family for the music and they don't like it anymore. So it's been passed down from generation to generation that they have to work as shoemakers and they're going to pass that down to Miguel but he doesn't want no part of it so when he accidentally plays the guitar he enters the land of the dead where he realizes he has to leave the land of the dead before sunrise and the only way that he can do that is to get the blessing of Ernesto de la Cruz that way he can go back to the living otherwise he'll be stuck there and become a skeleton and pretty much die in the process this is the best pixar movie of the year hands down this is the best animated movie i think i've seen since toy story 3 this is why i don't go to the movies very often to watch animated films but movie pass is the shit so of course i was gonna go see it and it didn't let me down but just like toy story 3 that ending will get you, and it'll get you good. But all the right reasons it'll get you. This is a masterpiece on how to make animation films. My God, this was a beautiful, colorful environment. Voiced very well. Heavily themed in the Mexican culture. Um, I'm glad they didn't shy away from that. They went straight forward and like, no, you know what? This is for Mexican culture, and we're not afraid of that. I like that shit. I like that shit. My lady's Mexican, of course, so we went. To, we both went to go see it, and we both loved it. So, yeah, um, this movie will hit the strings for you. It'll hit those heartstrings, and they ain't afraid to hit those heartstrings. Um. There is a twist in this movie. I did not see that coming, but it made for the best for the secondary twist in the film that took place. And I'm like, wow, that was uh, that was pretty cool. And then once again, just like The Glass Castle, this movie's main theme, family comes first. Family is everything. You get nowhere without it. But yeah, I love this movie. I love that ending. Everything about Coco worked. Even the name of the movie. It's not even the name of the main character. It's the name of somebody else in the film, which is awesome. I did not see that coming either, but I'm glad because it worked out because theoretically it is about that character. So yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to give Coco an A+. Plus. Let me know what you guys think about Coco down below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? And I will see you guys at the movies. You all have a good morning.